Hello, and welcome to Betwixt Two Skulls. My name is Emily Hamill of the Valley Babes, and sitting next to me today is... The bald Winston Price of Masterpiece Theatre, mm -hmm. otherwise known as Jean-Louis Blow, the Executive Director of the Chilliwack Cultural Centre. Ah, oh, that's it. I knew I'd recognize you from somewhere. Yes, I'm missing my hair. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Valley Babes will be performing at a Hunter's Moon Halloween this year at the Chilliwack Cultural Centre. Um, October 28th, 6.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Jean-Louis, will you give us in a nutshell what the Hunter's Moon Halloween is? Well, I guess to start off, the Hunter's Moon is actually on October 28th. Mm -hmm. That is the title of that full moon for that day. And so we thought we'd actually program this wonderful event to um, explore Halloween and produce it in-house. It involves a lot of the talents of our own people here. And we wanted to do this for the community to give people an option for a Halloween event over the weekend to actually come down, experience, and experience a different side of the Chilliwack Cultural Centre. Mm -hmm. So the evening starts off at 6.30 p.m or you arrive for the event and the lobby will be all dressed up in some of these Halloween decor items you see around me that have been made by members of the Chilliwack Cultural Centre. There will also be uh, flower crowns for sale up at the box office, handmade by Chilliwack Cultural Centre staff as well. It's very exciting. Yeah, it's a very much uh, in-house event and it's um, our gift to the community. Mm -hmm. So as you go down towards the south end of the lobby, we're going to have contortionists with uh, Nizar Productions performing in the middle of the lobby. There will be a charbuterie board of spooky snacks for you to have. Is that the word? Well, charbuterie, but I think we may also have charcuterie boards. Ah, yes, charcuterie. That's mm -hmm. right. I'm so sorry. I'm already in the Halloween spirit, as you can see. <laughs> and then on the other end of the lobby, uh, there's going to be a very relaxed sort of room to hang out in the art gallery, where the CVAA has a very wonderful display on right now. And you'll be able to play board games in there, or play cards, or just kind of escape all the hubbub if you need to have a break from the noise, because it's going to be pretty noisy, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one of the amazing features that is going to be taking place will be actually on the hub stage where we are right now, mm -hmm. and that is going to feature some of the Valley Babes. So there will be 10 of us performing on stage wearing this costume you see right now, although uh, we do have three male members of our cast, they will not be wearing corsets. I wish they would be. Yes, I know. But if you have seen the Pride and Prejudice 1990s uh, BBC, you know that shirt that Mr. Darcy was wearing when he dove into the pond? They'll be wearing those. So, mm -hmm. so a demographic of the population will probably want to come out and see this oh, performance yes. for sure. I feel that there is a demographic that will enjoy the Mr. Mm -hmm. Darcy shirt. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're performing a bunch of witch themed numbers and we will be joined on uh, two of those numbers by NZR Productions doing a fabulous aerial performance on the silks, which I'm very excited about. So. Aerialists and contortionists? Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> and then after the performance, dessert will happen on the hub stage. There will be cupcakes and all sorts of delectable goodies for you to imbibe with. Speaking of imbibing, there will be a bar on the stage as well, so you don't have to go back to the lobby to get a drink. You can just stay on the stage and hang out for a little while. Mm. Like I said, it's experiencing the cultural center, experiencing the stage in a different way and getting a completely different perspective of a performance. Mm -hmm. And the whole evening ends off in the Rotary Hall Studio Theatre with Soulstream, a live band playing music that you can dance the night away to, or you can go back to the art gallery, hang out, or you can enjoy some more contortionist performances that will be happening in the lobby as the evening rolls closed. And the evening will be over by 10.30 p.m. That allows you to take in other events that might be happening around the city or visit some establishment and indulge in some further libations. Or you can just go home and read a book and go to sleep. Or watch a scary movie. Ooh, yes, I think that's what I'll be doing for sure. <laughs> Sounds fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining me today between two skulls. And um, is there anything else that we've missed? Hmm. Just that you should all get tickets to Hunter's Moon Halloween. You can get tickets at www.chilliwackculturalcenter.ca <laughs> or by phoning our box office. So get tickets, because if you don't, we will launch. <laughs>